Hello everyone, it's good to see you back. So today we'll be bringing back a long forgotten build that was super popular when Stasis was first introduced and that is the Vesper of Aegis Shatter Freeze build. Now while it might not be the most strongest and OP build around, it does scratch a certain itch for those who want to throw themselves at enemies and blow up everything around us. Of course we won't die too much from the build but since Stasis is pretty popular for this season, I can at least provide you guys with some fun stasis builds that are worth the investments. So, like always, let's make a start. Now, starting with the general aim in the Zotok of the build, our aim is to showcase a fun stasis build that is perfect to use this season. We will also combine this with Ark for a further unique combo. For this, we will be using Thunderlord and Vesper of Vidius. A start with Azotic Armor, Vesper of Regius, with its Azotic effect, Planetary Torment, it states Rifts periodically release arc shockwaves. A final blows with these shockwaves create an arc explosion. While an arc super is equipped, the shockwaves and explosions blind nearby targets. Rift energy recharges faster when you are surrounded by targets. A Vesper's unique effect works well solely for the two elements in game, which is Stasis and Arc. Now, if we use Arc for the build, we can at least unlock his secondary effect and apply a blind and explosion for those near us. Since we are using stasis, we will be combining this with frost pulse instead for that instant freeze and shatter damage effect. This here works extraordinarily well as it allows us to mop up large groups of enemies in one go but also grant and class ability energy back doing so. I further combine this with whisper of refraction and you can get your class ability back to back with little effort. This is how the build will generally function. Our second exotic is Thunderlord with his exotic effect, Reign of Havoc, which states A final blows with his weapon generates stunning lightning strikes from above, strong against overload champions. One of the best and most controversial weapons to use if you ever talk about using it for DPS against bosses, the Thunderlord is a powerful weapon to have on hand. Now, just to clear things up, I chose Thunderlord as it works well with the status art combo we have going on. But mainly, combining this with Retinal Burn Seasonal Mod, our weapon will be able to blind targets at the same time. This may not be huge at first, but it would allow me to use it more in tougher content, which once enemies are blind, I can then use my class ability to shatter the targets around me easily. However, this is more of a personal choice, so if you don't want to use a heavy exotic weapon, then you can use the x dearest Grenade Launch instead, which can help the build play more aggressive. You will of course lose access to Retinal Burn mod, so please keep this in mind. For Aspects and Fragments, we have the following. Glacier Harvest, where freezing targets create status shards around the frozen target. Putting up shards will grant you Frost Armor and melee Energy. Frost Pulse, where using your class ability will freeze nearby enemies. Whispers of Durance, where your slow abilities that you apply to targets is extended. Whispers of Fissures, will increase the damage and size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or frozen target. Whispers of Refraction, where defeating slowed or frozen targets will grant you class ability energy. And Whisper of Conduction, where nearby stasis shards track to your position. With how easy it is to create class ability while on the go, the build doesn't need a lot for this area of focus. I will of course show you ways to create class ability energy just in case you don't have the following, but with how much Vespers offers to players, you should be generally good. Now with this in mind, having the Whispers Refraction on hand is a must since this will automatically work each time we use our class ability. A tier 1 minor enemies will grant us 9% energy back, while tier 3 and 4 elites will grant us a 20% to 30% energy back, which on top of Vespers is surely enough to keep you going. Now when it comes to the rest of Fragments, having Whispers of Durance and Fissures will be helpful when applied to our Super, Melee and Grenade usage over time. Since freezing is easy with the build, it will generate shards that can grant us melee energy back, but also frost armor. Frost armor is important with how risky the build will play out, so having this option on hand is going to be helpful once the deed is ready to be action. This should be pretty much it, as our playstyle will revolve around shattering and collecting shards in the process. For the mods and stats, we have both resilience and discipline marked with the highest priorities for the build. Recovery is also increased, but can be reduced and allocated to melee instead. Resilience, we have Arts at tier 10 for a 30% damage reduction. We have the ability to create Frost Armor from Glacier Harvest Aspect Effect, which will be helpful with our playstyle. 
I have then added the melee damage resistance mod for a 15% melee damage reduction, which of course makes sense why. I highly recommend you do the same, as we need to make full use of staying close range to the targets with another venicity. With this plane, we then have ours at tier 10 for a 46 second cooldown via dust field grenades. While glaciers would be good for creating stasis shards as well, a dust field is better for its cooldown and wide area of control in terms of encapsulated enemies. If this grenade will be handy in terms of starting fights and generally how I like to use it when covering ground rapidly. Now of course, since cooldown isn't really a huge issue here, you can then invest into other areas as shown. Impact induction times 2 for a 17% grenade buff, a focusing strike for a 12% class ability buff, outreach for a 12% mini buff, and distribution times 1 for a 3% all ability buff will cover the key cooldown of the build. And now for the additional mods, we have the following Arc Siphon for creating orbs of power via matching elemental type, Heavy Ammo Finder, Reserves and Scavenger mods for a heavy weapon. Elemental Charge, where collecting elemental pickups can grant you elemental charge after X amount of time. Arc Weapon Surge, where picking up an orb of power will grant you 10% arc weapon buff. And Powerful Attraction, where casting your class ability will automatically collect orbs of power to your venicity. Now with everything said and done, we've covered our exotic armor and exotic heavy weapon. I would then advise you to pick some super weapons for the build as well. What I recommend are all optional, so please keep this in mind. Our primary is the Shadow Price Adept with Strategist and Vault Shot. While this build doesn't need too much ways to generate class ability as mentioned before, having at least one option via your weapons is always helpful nonetheless. The version I have will maximize the energy I gain from kills, while also allowing me to apply Jolt on the targets for additional damage. This works out well for the Retinal Burn mod will also apply to the build. Now of course, if you prefer to maximize Frost Armor via the Seasonal mods, then a status weapon of your pick is viable as long as you have a arc heavy instead, depending on your playstyle of course. The secondary, we have the Lost Signal Grenade Launcher with Wellspring and Strategist. This is a combo I highly recommend players farm or craft when they get the time to do so, as having a weapon that generates ability energy on high is a must have for the majority of the builds. With this in hand and applying concussive reload, our damage will be absolute while also allowing us to garner class ability, melee and grenade energy in a matter of seconds. You can pick other weapons of course, but this is something worth the investment that I highly recommend you look into when you get the chance. And while I might not recommend this build for end game content such as GMs, master raids and master dungeons, its effectiveness with cleaning out an area is both noticeable and practical in the long term of things. The ability to instant freeze and shatter enemies around us allows us to play, once again, another risky but rewarding player style that you hardly see in action. To be quite frank, this build will be more better suited for PvP as you can use the two combos to catch players off for a nice quick kill. However, in PvE, its usage is still noticeable and fun to use as the amount of class ability energy you're getting back will allow you to repeat the process again and again and again until nothing is left. On top of that, you'll get frost armor for increased damage reduction, reduced mini cooldown, grenade launcher weakened in effect, and most importantly, the ability to apply blind on the targets on a regular occurrence. This kit is simple and easy to use, and with the additional onslaught being the more popular activity for this season, such a build will be powerful when used on a large group of enemies that spawn. Honestly, now is probably the perfect time to give this build a try once more. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. But if you enjoyed the content and want more of these videos, then leave a like and a sub while you're here. Dim link for the build is located below in the pinned section, and I do advise you to check out my playlist for more. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.